Now we're going to an examine a TXV metered system that is overcharged. Now if you remember from the previous video, our system is designed so that we have a nice column of liquid from the condensing coil up to the metering device. And this column of liquid begins at a certain point near the end of the condensing coil. And that allows the system to shed more heat from the liquid refrigerant and give us about 10 degrees of subcooling. Now the subcooling levels will be different for different equipment and different manufacturers but in this example we're going to use 10 degrees. So this is operating properly, charged properly, solid column of refrigerant and it becomes liquid at this point in the system and it's backed up right right here as it should be. But if the system is overcharged and this is caused by someone adding more refrigerant than should be, it moves this column of refrigerant deeper into the condensing coil and the backup starts right here. So rather than picking up 10 degrees of subcooling between this point and this point, um, it spends a little bit more time in the condensing coil and it will start to pick up more sub subcooling. So we're going to pick, we're going to add five more degrees of subcooling. For example, if there's if there's even more refrigerant in here, then we're going to pick up another five degrees of of subcooling. So instead of having our design of ten, we are now going to have twenty degrees of subcooling at this point. Now if you do have an overcharged system and your subcooling is is 20 degrees instead of 10 the proper method to alleviate this and what I would do is recover and reclaim all the refrigerant evacuate the system and and then recharge the system and weigh in the refrigerant per manufacturer's specifications but let's just take a look if if you could take it out incrementally what would happen so we have 20 degrees of subcooling and our liquid refrigerant instead of being backed up from here is backed up to this point. So if you could take the refrigerant out incrementally what you would do is move that that column of liquid back down the condenser coil. So you take out a little bit it doesn't spend quite so much time in this point and then it doesn't shed quite so much heat and we start to bring our subcooling level down as you as you remove this refrigerant and that subcooling level will continue to decrease until you hit that design point so that you have the 10 degrees of subcooled liquid. So remember when you have a system that is overcharged with the TXV system, and this holds true for a fixed orifice, this all of our subcooling ho uh, holds true for a fixed orifice system. So remember, if you have a high system charge, it will result in a high subcooling level because it backs that refrigerant up further in the condensing coil and it spends more time getting rid of heat and subcooling even more. So that completes our video on overcharge system with a TXV.